If you think that humanity is collectively going through a bad time right now, boy do we have some news for you. From wars, famines, ecological disasters, and widespread diseases, history books are full of events that suggest the worst is far, far behind us. In this video, we're going to unpack the worst centuries witnessed by mankind. Let's begin. 10. The Third Century When you look at the world during that time, it was made up of large empires connected by the Silk Road. China was the most powerful empire in the world at the time, and it effectively dominated trade. But China soon became engulfed in the War of the Three Kingdoms, which were a series of violent wars that lasted from 2020 to 2080 AD. Some empires, such as the Persians, were disturbed by the advent of the Sasanian dynasty, brought them back together. Others, on the other hand, were not so lucky. The Roman Empire was the biggest buyer of the silk trade. With a destabilizing economy, their government toppled under pressure and inflation was at an all-time high. The world had irreversibly transformed by the end of the century with many other issues such as migration and the economic crisis looming on for years to come. It would be more than a century before Rome's military could build itself back from dust. Hundreds of once thriving cities, particularly in the Western Empire, had been destroyed. Due to the economic breakdown caused by incessant fighting, these cities could not be rebuilt with their population dead or dispersed and their economy hampered by the disintegration of trading networks and currency depreciation. 9. The 5th Century The fall of the Western Roman Empire signaled the end of European civilization and the start of the Dark Ages, a period of turmoil and misery that lasted centuries, which is why the 5th century is remembered by historians as a time of migration and political unrest. The Western Roman Empire, which lasted until 476 AD, came to an end during this period, called the Dark Ages, this period was marked by economic, intellectual, and cultural decline. With limited food and little comfort, life was difficult, to say the least. In both the peasant and noble classes, women were expected to be subordinate to men, and their only role was to keep the household running smoothly. Beyond the age of one, children had a 50% survival rate, and began to contribute to family life at the mere age of 12. 8. The 14th Century This century was plagued by diseases. No, literally. The 14th century saw the bubonic plague and the Great Famine. Many kingdoms and empires were either destroyed or shattered as a result of the Black Death's ravages. Approximately 200 million died as a result, meaning as much as 60% of Europe's population was wiped out in a few months. Soldiers in France were forced to transmit diseases and ruin as much land as possible while marching as an early destruction tactic. In China, Central Asia, and Europe, the plague was more deadly. The 14th century was a pretty tough time to be alive. You would have had to live a life of discomfort and uncertainty if you hadn't been born into riches. In the year 1316, starvation and famine spread through England as harvests had failed due to continuous rainfall. Number 7. The 17th Century The 17th century was to be the worst centuries ever. Until World War I, the Thirty Years' War was Europe's bloodiest single conflict. Russia began the century in a state of bloodshed. The Manchu conquest of China was undoubtedly responsible for one of East Asia's worst population collapses, while the Mughal invasion of South India is said to have resulted in the most deaths in the region's history. Meanwhile, the Native American population was collapsing and the slave trade was speeding up. All of this was engulfing a world with a population less than a fifth of what it was in the mid-20th century. In Germany, where the majority of the war took place, 40% of the population was killed. Even still, Europe was far from being out of the woods. After the Thirty Years' War, Sweden went to war with Poland-Lithuania, and the conflict continued for five years, killing one-third of the population. 6. The 16th Century Around the world, the 16th century experienced enormous upheavals. With over a hundred thousand dead in the Peasants' War alone, well over a million in the French religious conflicts, and another million in the Eighty Year War, Europe was torn apart by the Protestant Reformation, one of the greatest earthquakes in China. Chinese history wreaked havoc on the country's heartland. As the Mughals pushed south, the Indian subcontinent was consumed by conflict. The Ottomans were fighting everyone in the Middle East and the Mediterranean while engaging in the world's biggest slave trade, and Ivan the Terrible was devastating Eastern Europe. The worst of the 16th century, however, was in the Americas, where civilization practically disintegrated due to European diseases, to which the local population had no immunity, with an estimated 95% mortality 
mortality rate in a population of 75 million people, implying a death rate of a staggering 71,250,000 Native American people. In addition, we witnessed the near total destruction of what used to be a huge part of the world's cultures by the Spanish burning books of those cultures that came under their rule and melting down artifacts made of gold so they could be brought back to Europe. Number 5. The 18th Century In the 18th century, a volcano erupted that caused millions of people to starve to death, thousands of miles away. Insane, right? Iceland's Laki volcanic eruption released massive amounts of ash and other volcanic particles into the atmosphere, the consequences of which were felt around the world, most notably in India. Between 1783 and 1784, an estimated 11 million people died of starvation in what became known as the Kalisa Famine. According to some estimates, one out of every three villages was entirely destroyed in India. The following year was unusually hot for the time of year because of the high volumes of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere. The necessary monsoon rains never arrived. Furthermore, high temperatures in northern India caused rivers and lakes to dry up. Exacerbating the situation, the Indian climate would not return to normal for another two years. Number 4. The 15th Century Here goes another volcano stirring up trouble. At the start of the 15th century, a volcanic explosion in Peru caused starvation for millions of people in Russia, and many more had to endure a summer without sunshine. The famine wreaked havoc on society and politics, leading to the demise of Boris Gudinov, who had declared himself Tsar of all Russians. In 2008, research discovered that the repercussions of the volcanic eruption in Peru in 1600 were felt all across the world. Sunlight levels declined over the world, affecting harvests in nations such as France, Switzerland, Japan, and China. However, Russia remained the hardest affected due to cold temperatures. Between 1601 and 1602, in Moscow, 127,000 people were buried in a mass grave, according to archives. There were also reports of people slaughtering their pets to eat and wear their furs, as well as the inevitable tales of humans becoming cannibals to stay alive. Truly gives us goosebumps. The 15th century also witnessed the fall of Constantinople and the end of the Hundred Years' War between England and France, which instilled a strong feeling of nationalism in both countries, as well as a mutual animosity that can still be felt to this day. Number 3. The 13th Century What defined the 13th century? Majorly, it was the development of Genghis Khan and the Mongols, who fought local tribes to form the world's greatest uninterrupted empire in seven decades. The Mongols deposed historic dynasties and brought Islam's golden age to an end. While Europe struggled to catch up, launching and abandoning religious crusades against the Muslim world, Europe was thrown into what historians today refer to as the Middle Ages Crisis at the middle of the 13th century. The crisis, which was marked by high mortality and inflation, sparked considerable unrest rest across the continent. Number 2. 6th Century The 6th century was dubbed the worst century in human history because it witnessed everything go wrong. Worldwide hunger and pestilence were caused by major climate change, which was most likely driven by volcanic eruptions. With much of the world pushed into conflict and destruction, many states dissolved or suffered irreversible harm. Unlike many of the other calamities, this one affected people all around the world, from one corner of the world in Indonesia all the way around to Mesoamerica. Number 1. The 20th Century Things got real messy in the 20th century. From a pandemic, world wars, nuclear weapons, decolonization, Cold War, and post-Cold War conflicts, this century was headlines upon headlines with changes that transformed the world's political and social structures. The Spanish flu was an influenza pandemic like COVID-19, which killed anywhere from 17 to 100 million people between 1918 and and 1919. Soon after, the Great Depression had half of the banks defaulted, putting 15 million Americans out of work, which was about one out of every four adults. In Germany, things were not nearly as good. With Nazis getting stronger and stronger, the Enabling Act was passed, effectively establishing Hitler as the all-powerful dictator. More ominously, this era witnessed the establishment of the first Nazi concentration camp. The number of people killed directly as a result of the conflict is 
estimated to be 50 to 56 million, with an additional 19 to 28 million killed as a result of war-related disease and hunger. The rivalry between the United States and the Soviet Union caused massive tensions around the world in the second half of the 20th century, resulting in proxy wars and the ever-present threat of nuclear proliferation. Whew, that's a wrap for this video. Which century do you think was the worst out there? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.